Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we're kicking off 2019 with a driven game shoot on the Chargot Estate. We're down in the southwest England to capture a day's driven sport on Chargot Estate. Before the safety briefing, we goes. catch up with the guns, led by Ely shooter Gerwin Jones. We're down at Chargot, uh, we're down here in Somerset, um, very famous pheasant shoot, high partridge shoot as well. A um, bunch of mates, we're all down here together, we shoot together a lot, and uh, we're down here for our first day of 2019. The shooters can expect from Chargot uh, some of the highest pheasants, in, in, certainly in the West Country and in the country, really, probably worldwide. Um, they'll have tall, high, curling, a lot of curling birds as much as straight birds. Great diversity here. You know, we've got uh, many different styles of shooting then, if you like. But um, we're very fortunate to have fantastic terrain, so we are, we're, you know, we're one step ahead, really. We're looking for a bag of around about 300, um, four or five drives, um, that's what we normally have, and um, yeah, pick and choose the good ones. The traditional drawing of pegs kicks off proceedings. Good morning all, good morning all, welcome to Chargot, nice to see you here, lovely sunny day you've brought with you. Beautiful. Uh, you're all shooting people so don't do a long spiel, but obviously leave the birds of prey alone, no ground vermin, uh, and be safe. There's seven of you shooting today. Should we move up seven? Uh, move up seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Move up two. 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 <laughs> move up two, okay? Move up two. And we'll start the dry zone of sound of a hunting horn and finish the dry zone of sound of a hunting horn. Okay. Caleb, did I bring the right equipment? So, uh, absolutely, yes. We do prefer that you use horses <laughs> here. But... <laughs> Are we right to left or left to right? Right to left, sir. Okay. So you can start that here. What's happened here? Number five. Oh, you want to make six? Uno. Number uno. Three. Three. What are you going with? Five. Oh, you've been sampled. Who's four? Sonia? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Five. The best conditions for shooting here at Chargate would be uh, overcast skies and, and um, a bit of drizzle, actually. They seem to go very well. And Adam, the best winds for us are usually so so westerly. Um, we find that the birds go very well in those conditions. Also, they hold better, you know, they're in the covers and, and um, they're more controllable. They are more controllable. Easier for the team to put over the guns. Yeah. Okay. What's are you okay with the dog? Yeah, more than, more than, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to leave my two in for the first drive, if not, if not the second, first two. It's quite bright now, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a bright day. It's going to be a bright day. It is what it is, isn't it? Right, dog, guys. We're into January and the birds should be strong on the wing and the terrain is ideal for providing those legendary high birds. This should be a good drive. Thank you sir. You're welcome. We're in Magic Coom. First drive of the day, first drive of the year of 2019 at the very famous Chargat. I'm using Pratsy's MX12's bog standard, 32 inch, all fixed choke, 42,000, so um, not quite super full, in between full and super full. And we're using the Ely Zenith copper coated fibre wad 36 gram fours. Um, 
most of these shoots now, if not all of them, are going fibre rod only. I think the copper coated on the long range stuff gives you a bit of an edge. Come behind that tree, man. Damn it all. Didn't see that. No bloody no time with that tree, have you? No. Stone. Stone dead. Yeah. It's dead anyway. <laughs> Hit that. Towards he kept bloody. That's it. Well done, Sons. Some great shooting up the valley there. Um, birds running the gauntlet, but some lovely stuff shot. I think there were two or three really big bird shot up there. We had some nice ones over the trees here. Hit a few, missed a few. But um, Zenith crunch them when they hit them, didn't they? Sorry. Sorry. Now we move on to some more open ground, but again, the undulating valleys mean the birds should be coming high and fast. They're better ones. That was Melanie's, um, one of the most famous drives in the West Country. Classic Devon Coombe. Um, good 50, 60 yard pheasants flying over there, over everybody. Um, nothing straight, slipping, sliding, curling. Um, you hit a few, miss a few. But yeah, just, just a classic, classic West Country uh, drive that. Um, you don't need any better than that, it's as good as you want. The guns are ecstatic and you can certainly see why. Time for a break, then back out to another impressive looking drive.
It's a well orchestrated but short drive, which means we've got time for another. Uh, last drive of the day, we're on Perseverance, another very well known drive down at Chargat, and this, this has been going for a long time around from memory, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, a long time. Long as I've been coming anyway. Um, great drive, be a lot of partridges and pheasants in this, um, coming off the bank up there in front of us. And yeah, should be should be really good. This is a good partridge. Lovely. Oh, lovely shot. Hit that. Second out. Yeah, shot. Girl. There are plenty of birds, but the guns aren't firing madly. They're being selective and picking out challenging but well-executed shots. Very good. Go for James. Well then, Gerwin, how was that? Awesome. Absolutely fantastic way to finish the day. A um, lot of partridges and a lot of epic pheasants. Uh, pheasants right on the edge of range. Slipping, sliding, curling, just, yeah, tremendous. Chug it at its best. Good girl. Come on. Dead. Quick release. Good neck. Very fat. Good girl, Coco. Good girl. Um, yeah, he's quite quite happy. Hit a few, missed a few. Um, some absolutely fantastic birds over us. Um, using um, my trusty Parazzi's and um, tight chokes, 32 inch barrels, and the Ely Zenith 36 gram 4 copper coated pure fibre wads. Um, the whole country is now going fibre only. Um, the shooting world is going fibre only. So you know we've got to we've got to learn to use these cartridges, um, and they do the job. They really, really do. You know, there's you you, you saw today. There were a lot of tall, tall birds today shot, stone dead, um, you know, humanely dispatched. And yeah, the Zenith just do it. You know, the copper coated, I believe, um, give you an advantage at the longer ranges. Um, they work for me. And a few of my friends are using them as well this year. Quite a few of my friends have started to use them actually. And everybody's delighted with them. Um, and like I said, they're a pure fiber and they really, really do do the biz. Some truly spectacular birds there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. There's been a blow for fox hunting in Scotland after the government said it would bring in tighter restrictions on the number of dogs that can be used to flush a fox to guns. It'll reduce the maximum to two, despite the recent review of fox hunting laws in Scotland concluding that using a whole pack is more effective and humane. The Scottish Countryside Alliance said they would fight every inch of this battle using every legal and political avenue available. Responding to dropping wildlife numbers, the GWCT has said we still have time to rescue threatened species, if we act now. Figures gathered in Wales indicate that some species have dramatically dropped in number, such as curlews, which have declined by 81% in 13 years. Matt Goodall, a GWCT advisor, said that the key to turning things around was working closely with farmers so that wildlife can thrive alongside a viable farming business. There's just a month to go until the British shooting show. 
Taking place at the NEC for the second time, it'll once again be a massive celebration of all things shooting related, from shotguns to scopes, pellets to PCPs. Expect product launches, visits from international manufacturers, plenty of retailers and more. Don't miss it, get your tickets now at shootingshow.co.uk. And finally, with voting still taking place in the Great British Shooting Awards, we take a look at one of the categories you can have your say in. This week it's the Rifle of the Year Award, and the nominees are Blazer R8 Professional Carbon Success, CZ455 Stainless Rimfire, Merkel Helix Speedster, Rigby Highland Stalker, Seiko Finlight 2. Which do you think should win the award? Have your say by heading to greatbritishshootingawards.com. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of BASC, it's time to join now. BASC, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.